Threads, Threads, Threads. Designed to be a competitor of what's now known as Elon's Twitter, Thread is Meta or Instagram's or Zuckerberg's solution to Twitter. In fact, with the timing of Thread's release, it seemed like Zuck was just pretty much waiting for Twitter's fuck up. And it just so happened Elon's fuck up happened with Limits. Essentially, for those of you that don't know, Limits is what Elon Musk added as a feature to Twitter in which users are only able to view a select amount of posts daily. As far as I'm aware, the limit was originally at 600 views for a non-verified user, raising up to eventually a thousand after Elon started realizing how low that limit was. And to give more context, the limit is set at 6,000 or 10,000 for verified users, essentially people that pay for Twitter. And for non-verified or regular users, the limit was stuck at a thousand. In fact, this severely hampered the experience of users all around the world, with some users mentioning that they were running out of views within 10 to 15 minutes of simply scrolling through Twitter. Bear in mind, 600 to a thousand views is nothing if you're just actively scrolling Twitter because most people aren't reading every single tweet they come by. Not to mention if you were to click into comment replies, that would automatically deck you a good 50 just from all the tweets that pop up from there. And the strangest thing is, this doesn't really make sense in the <laughs> in the way that once you hit your limit, you get automatically forced out of Twitter. In fact, you get brought to a screen where you can re refresh and retry to refresh the Twitter feed, but nothing happens and you're just stuck at that page for the rest of the day. Naturally, this severely hampered the Twitter experience and I suppose Elon thought that this would cause people to buy the verified version for more views. Contrary though, it just caused people to look for an alternative. And this is where the robot known as Zook came in. In fact, it seemed like Zook had this in the bag and was just waiting for an Elon or Twitter major fuck up. And once it happened, he threaded the needle. Get it? Threaded the needle. I'm gonna go kill myself now. In fact, to show testament to this, Zook after eight to 10 years tweeted for the first time on Twitter, his competitor's app, and it was actually a shot at Elon using the Spider-Man finger pointing meme to show that he's done the same thing with Elon with threads. And that's essentially what threads is. Threads is serves as a Twitter alternative, a direct competitor serving sim a similar purpose to, to Twitter. Similar to how back in the day there was Vine and now there's TikTok having both very similar app functions and users on it. Threads serves the same purpose, except it leverages Instagram's already massive user base as well as Facebook's as they are all under the same parent company, Meta. The timing of the release of Threads comes at such a coincidental time that you can't help but think that Zook is purposely targeting Twitter's weak point, Twitter's low point, where users are starting to get fed up with the limitations and the, and the app itself and we're looking for an alternative and Zook smartly as a businessman provided one. In fact, according to Mark Zuckerberg, there were this many signups within just this amount of hours. This shows that a lot of people are moving over to the new app, Threads. And on top of that, due to its integration with Instagram, as of now, if you sign up to Threads, or if somebody you follow on Instagram sign up, signs up to Threads, they'll have a little app bar under their name signifying what number user they were on Threads. So for example, Zook himself is at number one because he's the first person to be on Threads and etc. So when I last, when I personally hopped on, I was like 11 million. That just showed, and it's only been out for a day, that just shows the amount of user base it's generating at a rapid rate. For the review itself, for my first one hour experience of using threads, you know, scrolling through it, liking certain tweets, oh shit, tweets, liking certain threads, and you know, following certain users, essentially it provides a similar user experience to Twitter. But from my short time of using threads, it had a very user friendly experience and really allowed me to see what was going on in the world. It, caught the news and it was a different form of social media than Instagram in the sense that Instagram would provide you with photos as this form of media and threads was more primarily categorized as tweets or shit. Again, I use the word tweets. On the contrary, threads was more for text, text formed media. So people to write their thoughts online or write whatever is happening in the world and you could read it through threads. On top of that, Threads on its initial launch has a lot of features similar to Twitter itself. Threads has the ability to repost, to send to others, to share, and to like whatever threads you see. Naturally, as it is its first iteration, there are some flaws to it and room for improvement. For example, it, it requires still a following section to see who a user follows. The ability to search for threads specifically would also be helpful as it currently only allows you to search users. And the ability to customize your 
or filter your feed is probably one of the most essential features that people would be awaiting for. And that is not to mention the huge user base is causing a bit of lag, especially my personal experience. For example, when I tried to look at Zook himself, his own profile, it, it wouldn't really load because I, I presume too many people were on it. So there are some ways to refine the product. With that being said though, here are some cool threads I, I've seen around the new app, Threads by Instagram or by Meta, whatever you want to call it. Regardless, as it stands, it is an extremely user-friendly Twitter competitor. For example, even if you were dedicated to Twitter, once you run out of tweets to read, what, what happens there? You might as well hop on threads with unlimited reading. This was, in hindsight, this was not a, the greatest decision by Elon, but we move. With that being said though, as it stands, the app is still early, so all the NSFW posters and the bots haven't really flooded the app yet, and the experience could det deteriorate after that, but that's to do with the future, and who knows, Zook might deal with it in a different way. Long story short, Elon, you fucked up. And now Twitter has a menacing competitor that doesn't have your genius idea to limit views on tweets. Hope y'all enjoyed, and why don't you follow me on threads for some occasional motivational quotes and some good banter. And of course, subscribe right here for more videos, and let's talk about in the comments what you guys think of threads. Do you think it'll overtake Twitter? Will you use it? Let's just have friendly discussions in the comment section and let's talk about it. And I'll see you in the next one.